name is Rares Buta and I'm a PhD student at the Technical University of Cluj-Napoca and I'm going to present you a Red Pitaya based large bandwidth low cost software defined radio architecture. The components of this architecture are chosen such that the bottleneck in the transmit receive chain will be the Red Pitaya board. A portion of the transmission chain was carried out and tested using the setup presented on the table. A local network is created using this router. To this local network, the Red Pitaya development board and the host computer are connected. As the host computer and the Red Pitaya development board are in the same network, the web interface of the development board is accessed from a browser run on the host computer. An Atom Pluto device is used for generating a local oscillation and to inspect the radio frequency signal generated by the transmission chain. The Red Pitaya board plays the role of a signal generator and baseband processor. The IQ modulation is carried out using LTC5589 integrated circuit. The Red Pitaya board has two single-ended outputs while the modulation stage requires differential signal. The single-ended to differential conversion is done using fully differential operational amplifiers, these circuits. In the following minutes, three test scenarios shall be presented. First, a local oscillation of 805 MHz is generated by the Adalm Pluto. The center frequency of the spectrum analyzer is set again to 805 MHz and the recorded bandwidth is 10 MHz. A carrier of 10 dBms can be clearly seen at 805 MHz. A 1 MHz tone is generated. For this purpose, the Red Pitaya Web graphical user interface was used, namely the oscilloscope and signal generation section. A double sideband modulated signal is generated with a carrier at 805 MHz and two spectral components at 1 MHz distance from the carrier. Finally, a second tone signal is generated at 2 MHz. A double sideband modulated signal is generated with a carrier at 805 MHz and four spectral components at one, respectively 2 MHz distance from the carrier. In conclusion, in this project a novel large bandwidth low cost software defined radio architecture is proposed. The proposed SDR is a zero intermediary frequency transceiver where the red pitaya board is used for baseband processing. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Mm -hmm.